Hi friends, hola amigos, it's your pal Mikey. And today we have Mikey's mystery box. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Huh, we have yarn, hilo, and beads. I wonder what we're gonna be doing with this. Hey, do you wanna learn today? You can learn with Mikey. Hey, let's all learn today. We can learn with Mikey. So many fun things to do. So many cool things to see. Come on and learn with me. You can learn with Mikey. Inside the mystery box, I had yarn, hilo, 1,000 me beads, scissors, tijeras, a ruler, regla, and tape. Hmm, what can we do with these different supplies that would be so much fun? Oh, I know! Why don't we put the 1,000 me beads on the yarn? Hilo, and then we can measure it. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> okay, so whenever we do a science experiment, we need to use the scientific method. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> the scientific method is a list of steps that you follow when doing a science experiment so that you get the best answer from your experiment. Huh. Well, let's go over the different steps on the scientific method. That way we can follow the steps. Are you ready? Cool. Okay, step one, we make an observation. So our observation is, hmm, we have beads and we have string, hilo. Hmm, that is our observation. It's just pretty much what do you see, okay? We saw that. So then we go, hmm, by seeing this, we can do an experiment that sounds really fun. So step two is gonna be ask a question. Well, my question is gonna be, how long is the yarn hilo with 1,000 me beads on it? And that's going to be our question. Step three is gonna be make a hypothesis well, what's a hypothesis? A hypothesis is just a scientific way of saying the word guess. So we're just gonna guess what we think that the answer is gonna be from our experiment. My guess is that I think that by the time that we measure <laughs> the yarn elo with the 1,000 me beads on it, it's going to be as long as a great white shark. Ah! <laughs> so a great white shark can get as long as 16 feet. Whoa, that's really long. So I think that our yarn elo with the 1,000 beads is gonna be 16 feet long. Whoa, 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 that's so long. So we have to do step four, which is actually do the experiment. When we do the experiment, it uh, when we do the experiment, what we're going to do is try to figure out whether our guess was right or wrong, okay? And then step five is we're going to analyze the data. That means that we're actually going to uh, look at the numbers to figure out whether our hypothesis, our guess is right or wrong. And then step six is we're going to come up with the conclusion. That means we're gonna wrap it all up and come up with our, our final thought about our experiment. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so step one, make an observation. Beads, yarn, hilo. That's our observation. Step two, ask a question. Hmm, how long will the, the yarn hilo be with 1,000 beads? Step three, make a hypothesis. I think it's going to be as long as a great white shark, 16 feet, whoa. And then step four, let's do the experiment. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to get the yarn, hilo. Let's 
Let's see, where is it, okay? And I'm going to unravel it. <laughs> this is a lot. I don't think, I don't think we're, we need all of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure using my ruler, regla, 20 feet. So a ruler has inches and centimeters. I'm going to use the inches side, okay? One ruler is equal to one foot. <laughs> no, not the foot on your body. This is a unit of measurement, okay? It's a little confusing, but you'll figure it out. So one ruler is one foot. And if we think that a great white shark is 16 feet, then that means that it's 16 rulers, okay? So what I'm going to do, because we don't know for sure we're doing the experiment, is I'm going to measure 20 rulers and I'm gonna cut the yarn, hilo. That way we don't have this big old, big old thing of yarn. We can put this away and we'll just have our 20 feet of yarn. So let's do that, all right? Nineteen feet, twenty feet. Okay, so I measured approximately. That means it's really close. Twenty feet, twenty pies. All right. Now I'm going to cut the yarn, the needle. All right. That way we can put our beads on all this yarn. Hey, I don't need that anymore. Bye bye yarn. <laughs> okay. So this is the yarn that we're actually going to use to put the, hey, is this thing ever gonna end? <laughs> to put the beads on. Whoa, this is the end right here. So let's put some beads on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tape. The tape, I'm gonna wrap it on the end of the yarn. What I'm, the reason why I'm doing this is so that I have a nice, strong part of the yarn to put the beads through. Because if I had, if I didn't do this, let me show you what would happen. Let's open up the beads, right? If I don't put the tape and I try to put the yarn through, it's actually a little hard. You see how the yarn, the elo bends? So that's why I use the tape. So the tape, Boom, it allows you to get through easily. That way we can go through and put the, the beads on pretty quickly. All right, well, let's get started. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we got one bead. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one bead all the way to the end, and then I'm gonna make a little knot. That means I'm just gonna tie a little part of it, okay? That way, all the beads don't slip off the yarn. Because if they slip off the yarn, they're gonna go all over the place. I don't want that to happen. It's gonna mess up our experiment. So I'm just gonna tie a couple knots around this the first bead, okay? And then that way, when I put all my beads on there, it'll stop, all right? So, whew, let's get to work. 1,000 beads. Let's see, how many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, we have a long way to go. Let's keep on going. Nine hundred and ninety-seven, nine hundred and ninety-eight, nine hundred and ninety-nine, one thousand. Me! Whoa! We did it! You did it! Wow! Look at how long this yarn, Elo, is with the one thousand me beads on it. That's a lot. Well, let me make sure that I tie this side of the yarn so that the beads don't fall out. We don't want all these beads to fall out because then it'll be a big mess. 
Oh no, we don't want that. All right, let me tight it. Uh, tight, tight, tight. You don't want to tie it loose because if you do, the knot can slip out and then you're going to be chasing around a lot of beads all over the place. Okay. Let's get this through the hole. Pull it through. There we go. We did it. Okay. So we have completed the experiment part of our science science experiment right so this is the experiment part where we actually put the beads on the yarn elo so now what we need to do is we need to measure our 1000 mean beads we're going to use our ruler regla right and remember we're going to use the inches side because 12 inches equals one fit one foot un pie all right and remember not the foot on your body, but the foot on the ruler. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay out this long, long, long string with 1,000 meter beads, and we're gonna measure it, okay? And what was our hypothesis again? Yeah, that we think that this long string with 1,000 me beads is going to be as long as a great white shark. Ah, <laughs> that's up to 16 feet long. Well, let's see if we were right. Okay, that's one foot. I'm gonna measure from here to here. Two feet. Okay, make sure it's tight. Three feet. We're at green, okay. Four feet, blue. Five feet. Six feet. Seven feet. Eight feet. Nine feet. Ten feet. Well, we still have a lot more to go, and we're already at ten feet. Yes, yes. Eleven feet, twelve feet, thirteen feet, fourteen feet. feet. Oh, we have a little bit more. 16 feet. 17 feet. Whoa! 18 feet. 18 pies. Oh, that means that 1,000 means B is as long as is 18 feet long. Dieci ocho pies. So does that mean that our hypothesis was right? No, our hypothesis was wrong. We were kind of close because our hypothesis was 16 feet, right? Dieci seis pies. But the actual data from our experiment shows that it's actually 18 feet. Dieci ocho pies, whoa, that means that it's 17 feet, 18 feet, we we're off by two feet, dos pies. Okay, so in conclusion, 1,000 mean beads is 
18 feet long. Yes, he also pies, right? Oh, that was such a fun experiment. Do you see how using the scientific method and going through our steps helped us figure out how long is 1,000 mean bees? That was so much fun. Okay, before we go, let's review the scientific method one more time. Step one, make an observation. And we saw that we had beads and yarn. Hilo. Step two, ask a question. And what was our question? Huh, how long is 1,000 beads, right? Step three, form a hypothesis. And what's a hypothesis again? It's just another word for guess, right? So we made a guess. And our guess that 1,000 beads would be the same length or the, the, will be as long as a great white shark. That's about 16 feet long. Step four was to actually do the experiment. And we did. We put 1,000 beads on the yarn. Elo. Step five was to analyze the data. And we, we analyzed the data by finding out that 1,000 beads is 18 feet, 18 pies long, right? And step six was to make a conclusion. And the conclusion is that 1,000 beads is 18 feet long. So our hypothesis was wrong, but we still had a lot of fun. So be sure to click the subscribe button. That way you can keep learning with me, M-I-K-E-Y. Oh yeah, go to learnwithmikey.com so you can print out free activity worksheets. Yeah, bye, adios.